So I sent out a lot of charts yesterday on this uh, specific setup. So we, we know that we like to um, we know we like to get into the zone and look for a full retracement zone, what's called an FZR. So this is called an FZR, full zone retracement. As our full zone retracement, that's because we got above 80, we're above 80, we're at the zone or inside the zone, and then we come down into a momentum because momentum does not get above 80, and this is called a momo. All right, so I sent a lot of charts out to you uh, yesterday with the CPI news. We had tons of these trades. Um, it's just a beautiful setup. Let me make sure I get this. This is an FCR above 80. There's a Momo that's below 80. The oscillator is below 80. The key is you want to see a full zone retracement first. You want to see a full zone retracement first, and then you want to see a Momo. All right. Now, what I was putting in the, uh, I sent the charts out to you guys, I was showing you guys, is that you want to see a lower high. So, you want to see a lower high, and then you want to see a Momo. So, this morning, right around 8.15, just a second ago, we have a lower high on the second arrow. Now, the algorithm will spot this. It will spot this. So, you will see that the algo will spot this and only take trades on this second arrow for a lower high and it will look for a momentum trade. This will be a toggle switch. You can look for this specific setup. So the key is, is you want to look for at the zone, lower high, and then the second arrow should fire called a Momo. All right, so it shows price weakness. And then you can do this on any time frame you really want. It doesn't matter uh, uh, at all. You can really look at any time frame that you guys wish. The second thing that I added is I added a first retracement trade to the algo. And what it will do, it will look for the first specific retracement after a trend change. So after you get a trend change, it's going to look for that first specific retracement as far as that goes. So what it will do is, is this is a trend change and it'll be a toggle switch. This is your trend change. It will look for that first arrow to go short and on, uh, it's called wave one. So you have a toggle switch called wave one and the wave one will be put in. It will only take that first setup after a trend change in that first retracement when an arrow fires. The third thing that I added to the algo is an ATR. What you can do is you can have this ATR trail price really tight to price. So let's say you have four contracts, three contracts, two contracts that you are shorting. Let's say here's contract one target. Let's say here's contract two target. Let's say here's three contract target. And let's say four, you have it like 250 ticks or way out there, you know. So let's say way down here. Way out here. All right. What it'll do, you'll have a trail that will trail price after you enter on the strategy. Once it closes back inside that specified ATR, such as here, or it'll be an ATR looking like this line, like this. Once it closes back inside, all contracts will be exited. So all contracts will, contracts will be exited just like that. They'll try to reach all the targets. Reason being, if you get big moves up, so let's say this is the first retracement trade like this again. It would take this trade. So it gets you along here. Let's say target one here, target two here, target three here, target four is way up. Once it closes back inside that ATR that you specify that I put in, average range, 
then it's going to sell all the contracts at that specific specified point and the reason we're, I'm doing this is you get these big runs you get a run like this this is the first arrow it will take on this strategy after a trend change so it's short here and let's it would get you this entire run on your contracts here all the way to there all right so it's going to uh, that's what I added into the strategy you're going to be getting also so this is a this is a wave one you can you can pick this wave one on the automated strategy to only take this wave one trade if you wish consequently I have another toggle switch on the automated strategy we'll only look for lower high trades with the second arrow because those are very powerful Momo trades because you come into a full retracement you get an arrow you have a lower high for shorts and you get that move vice versa if you get a let's see if we get a buy here right here if you get a higher low this is a higher low it will take this trade with the second arrow and it will provide a higher low right here for you as far as that goes just like that okay so that's something that's going to be in the uh, uh, algorithm but this is set up I want you to start looking for second arrow a higher lower lower high really works out well um, because it's a it shows that there's weakness in the trend or there's strength in the trend I'll blow this up here see we just so here's the morning this is one just happened a second ago right now so you can see the this this one's running right now this is a live trade running this is my second arrow that fired up I went over this yesterday's video exact setup so plays yesterday's video also I sent out 17 charts on this specific setup this is a full retracement this is a live trade admin now that's a full retracement there's your FCR these are very powerful setups there's your FZR arrow fires now you want to go into a Momo you want this second arrow to what be a lower high and consequently you want to what you want to be below 80 the algorithm will pick that up fire the arrow the strategy if you want to specifically trade this trade only it will do it so if you were trading the strategy by itself this morning and you said hey I only want to take lower high trades or higher low trades it would take this potential and you're still in this potential right here as far as that goes now what you can do is you can tighten this stop up there'll be an ATR that you can tighten the stop up on the strategy where it will show price tight like this stop you out here and right now it's still trailing price it hasn't closed above the average true range and it still got you short from 39.80 and prices down to 72 you're already would be up eight S&P potential points or 24 ticks right now and still trailing so very two powerful concepts uh, 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 trading concepts I put into the uh, automated algorithm update you guys are gonna get um, and that is going to allow you to capture uh, trend change moves and then also lower high or higher low trades with these FCR and Momo setups but you can see very two powerful setups this morning just since 8 o'clock has captured FCR worked great Momo worked great FCR worked great Momo working great right now um, as far as the lower high trade all right so something that uh, an added bonus for you guys to understand price action you always want to see a lower high when shorting, higher low when buying. It allows you to show see weakness or strength in the market, um, and allows uh, traders to have confidence that that arrow is going to continue. The great combo setup, though, like I said, is going from an FZR into a Momo. So just remember this combo. This is a very important combo to remember: FZR into a Momo. FZR full retracement into my powerful zone there into a momentum setup okay 
That's a momentum setup. Because it's showing that the price is a continuation. And we want to try to get continuations. We want to try to sell weakness. And we want to buy strength. All right, so there's your FZR for retracement. And right there, the, there's your MOMO, which is a lower than your 80. And those two fired. So the ES giving some nice trades here this morning already for a MOMO into an FZR. So that's a great combination.